Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to create a space partitioning technique called KD tree. And as you can see here, we can use a bunch of input points and uh, use them to split up a grid. So we can define the number of iterations here and it would add vertical and horizontal cuts with each iteration. And you can see that it has two loops. The outer loop is defining the iterations and the inner loop is running over each primitive. As per usual, you can download the Houdini file on the Procygen website and support me on Patreon. Let's start in a new scene. So we set up a geometry node, press F2 for renaming it to KD tree and dive inside. Let's first set up a grid. We can give it a size of two by two and give it two and two rows and columns. So that way it's just one polygon and make sure to activate the wire so we can see the cutting later. And we also want to generate a few points at random positions. So I set the attribute name to P, but it doesn't matter. But we should visualize the points. Let's start with 200 and give them a distribution from minus 1 to 1. But make sure to set the Y component 0 to keep it flat. Now if you activate the grid, you should see they all sit within there. And now what the clipping will do is it will just choose the average position of all points or the median position of all points and cut through it. The median has of course the advantage of picking one point as the one that is either uh, it's exactly at, at the threshold and all the other points are above or below whereas the, uh, the average just goes through and doesn't necessarily hit a point. We will see this in action in a bit and after each cut we want to assign the points that are within that polygon to do further cutting. So how can we find out? Let's just pretend we already did some cuts that these points are within one polygon. I've chosen to just use the XYZ dist function which is usually done to measure a distance to a surface based on the input position, but in our case and it usually returns a primitive and the UV location on this primitive, uh, which should work now. Let's um, just be a bit faster here and replace the primitive we usually get back by the class. This is what we want to get and we set the UV blind by setting it to zero, so no further action needed. And now let's see whether the class assignment has worked. So random of i at class is what we want to visualize quickly. And if I turn up the number of points, you see that this has worked. So it knows which polygon the points are sitting on. Let's just call this class. And we don't need the coloring because it works already. Next, we would like to set up a loop. So a for loop will be there for the iterations. And we should make sure that the second input of the class wrangle is assigned to the uh, for loop because when we cut through the grid, we want this to update. All right, so let's see this in the next step. We are using a for each primitive node, a loop now, and assign that. And it should just run through empty. Mm, but at the same time, when we use for each, you see that it's just picking one polygon at a time, and this will always be numbered zero. So we should prepend a enumerate node which is creating an index for us so it still knows its original number which in this case was 48. And next we want to match 
the points class with that index. So again, we just repeat the step and connect it to the second input. And we want to match class with index. So let's ask for the index of the polygon by using the primitive to the second input. It's called index and we know it's just the first or the only one polygon coming in, so it's zero. And we would like to check whether index is not equal to our class, our class of points. And if it's not, then we remove it. So if index and the class is not identical, we don't need it. And then we promote it, attribute promote can give us either average or median from point to detail using the position. And we should change the promoted attribute to p med for median and I don't delete the original but it wouldn't do it for uh, the position anyways. Next we set up a clip and the clip node should listen to the detail attribute we've just created. So we will set the origin to detail and assign the attribute promote node. It's capital P underscore med attribute and zero. So in there we should have the correct number and we jump two steps further into the Z component and set the component to two. So that should match. And when we click on the clip node, we should see that as soon as we set the direction to uh, X1, it will clip. Let's say we want all clips to be kept. And we should also be a bit careful here uh, with the number of iterations to get started. We see that it's doing quite a lot of cuts. At the same time, let's make sure that the input grid is just set to two by two. And now with each iteration, it would calculate new median positions and cut there. Of course, this is not the pattern we would like to get. So let's either have a vertical cut or a horizontal one. And in order to do that, I will use the outer loops meta node. So let's just call this meta one and refer to it within the clip node. So detail to the meta one node, its iteration, that's what it's counting, and zero. And we can ask whether modulo two is zero. So it would always flip and we copy this expression to the Z component and say if you're equal to one, then U. So in the first iteration, X would win. In the second iteration, Z would win and then X and then Z and over and over again. This uh, for each iteration, it would change now. Let's not take too many points so we get an, a more interesting pattern. So something as light as this would work better, I think. And then you can increase the iterations. Now let's color the primitives with a random color. And this would be it. And of course, feel free to experiment. So you could bring in any kind of geometry, something like a circle will always uh, be set to XZ plane, give it a bunch of divisions and see how this looks in the end. You can see we have this pattern there and what counts is the number of points. So if you want a more dense pattern, just set this to 100 divisions or play with the number of iterations. Thank you for watching.